Our top focus at this hour, 10 Republican senators have urged U.S. President Joe Biden to downsize his $1.9 trillion COVID-19 relief package. This is if he wants to win bipartisan support. Democrats in Congress are prepared to push ahead the COVID-19 relief plan this week. A top White House economic advisor signaled towards a willingness to discuss the ideas raised by Republican senators. The director of the National Economic Council, Brian Deese, told NBC and I Biden is open to ideas wherever they may come. What he is uncompromising about is the need to move with speed on a comprehensive approach here. A piecemeal approach is not a recipe for success. Ten Republicans, including Susan Collins, Lisa Murkowski and Mitt Romney, wrote a letter to Biden urging him for a meeting. They say that the bill included more targeted assistance for families in need and it also provides additional funds for small businesses. However, it was also pointed out that the plan includes less school funding. Another Republican, Bob Portman, told CNN that direct checks should be limited to individuals making $50,000 or less and families making $100,000 or less. Republicans also wanted the federal unemployment aid to be $300 per week, as opposed to $400 per week, which was proposed by President Biden. So far, it remains unclear whether requests by 10 out of 50 Republicans will change the plans laid out by Democrats. Biden and his fellow Democrats are seeking to make use of their majority in the House of Representatives and the Senate. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said that the chamber would begin work on it as early as this week. The new legislation is expected to impact individuals and businesses hit by the pandemic. And it will also be a test for Biden, as he promised to bridge the partisan divide. According to Biden's latest plan, $160 billion would be allocated for COVID-19 vaccines, $170 billion for schools and universities. And it also plans to give certain Americans a stimulus check of $1,400, among other provisions. Now, some Republicans are not on board, and they continue to question the overall price tag of this ambitious package. Now, for more on this story, we have our correspondent, Nick Harper, joining us live on this broadcast from Washington, D.C. Welcome to Beyond Nick. Now, President Biden is facing pressure to downsize his ambitious stimulus package. Now, this was one of his election promises, as we recall. So tell us more about the same. Yeah, I mean, there is an incredible gulf between these two proposals. The Democrats putting forward a $1.9 trillion plan. Mm -hmm. The Republicans here fronting a $600 billion plan. It is, in many respects, a lowball offer compared to what the Democrats are proposing. Now, Joe Biden has made it clear that it is his number one priority to speed up the vaccinations here in the United States, to get right. 100 million doses administered in the first 100 days, and to deal with the economic problems in the country. So it's really down to speed and it's now up to him to work out whether he wants to take this compromise being offered by the Republicans or try and push ahead with his own plans, obviously a much higher sum than the Republicans are putting forward. Right. Now, Nick, the question, of course, is will this big stimulus package get passed with the opposition and the Republicans' opposition that it is facing? And what is needed as of now to boost the failing U.S. economy? Yeah, that $1.9 trillion figure that the Democrats are proposing. Now, normally they would need 60 votes in the Senate. There are 100 senators there. There are 50 Democrats. So they would therefore need uh, 10 of their Republican mm -hmm. colleagues to join them in order to pass this bill. However, there is uh, some news of the possibility of the Democrats pushing ahead with a provision that they would be able to use as this is a budget uh, reconciliation proposal, which means they would only need a simple majority. So just 50 votes. And they already have... 50 votes as they hold uh, mm -hmm. 50 Senate seats. So there is a possibility that they may just try and push it through without any Republican support whatsoever. But look, the Democrats are saying that huge amounts of money are needed for the US economy. There are still millions of people out of work and a huge amount of money is needed to speed up the delivery of those vaccinations. They want to push that forward and they will certainly be looking at this $600 billion dollar figure from the Republicans with interest, but viewing it as a much, much lower figure which would mean that they would not be able to fulfill some of their promises that they have put forward. Mm -hmm. Right. My final question, Nick, now American, the American households are struggling right now because of the impact of the pandemic. And I think Biden's proposal uh, aims to put more money in their pockets, direct uh, uh, plans to put more money and more dollars in U.S. Americans' pockets. So how is this being perceived by the American public? 
Well, undoubtedly, the American public would prefer to have a higher direct payment. However, there is the possibility, while Democrats and Republicans continue to disagree about it, they simply won't get any money. It took many months to agree the last direct payment to people's accounts. It was $600. Mm -hmm. Joe Biden wants to add to that an extra 1400 But if it takes a long time for two sides to agree, then simply no money would go forward. So I'm sure many Americans uh, who are struggling out there with unemployment, who've perhaps been out of work for many months, would just rather have any sum, whether it was the 1000 that the Republicans are suggesting or the 1400 that the Democrats are suggesting. Right. All right, Nick, we'll leave you there. Thank you so much for joining us on this broadcast. We on World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.